Hello friends, welcome to machine learning interview question series by Knowledge Powerhouse. Let's go on to our next question. Question is, what is feature projection in machine learning? Feature projection is a technique for dimensionality reduction. So let's see what exactly it is. So this is a approach of one of the ways by which we can reduce the number of features so we can reduce the dimensions in our machine learning and this is quite a popular approach and there are various techniques of doing it. So what we do is that in feature projection, we use uh, some kind of a mechanism to transform the data from high dimension space to a space with fewer dimensions, right? So from high dimension, we go to fewer dimensions. Let's say from 3D to 2D, 4D to 3D, that kind of a thing. So one of the technique here is principal component analysis, PCA. So if you see this example here, we have uh, original data space which is in 3d right so there are like different kind of features gene 1 gene 2 gene 3 now if we want to like you know do features like uh, with projection here so we want to take it to the two dimension so now for two dimensional we can apply this pca mechanism by which it goes to 2d and then it becomes much easier to do any kind of modeling on that so that's the pca principal component analysis which means mapping, linear mapping of data from higher to lower dimension. Then we have another technique called non-negative matrix factorization. So NMF, here we can decompose the non-negative matrix to a product of two non-negative ones, right? So that way we can decompose and this makes like our life easier so that we are dealing with the lesser number of features, right? So that's a non-negative matrix factorization. And then we have kernel PCA. Again, this is another uh, technique of PCA, uh, like a variation of that. Here we use the kernel trick. So in this kernel trick, let's say if we have a this example where we have a data, which is in the circle, right? Blue circle, red circle, green circle. And it's so difficult to like, you know, distinguish or classify this data. So we can use a kernel function, like using kernel trick that can make this data into a project into a different shape so that we can easily classify it like now when we apply a kernel function then if you see the green is almost or to the left right and then we have blue in the middle and then red on there right so it's very easy to classify these and then we can use our modeling on them so it is mainly used for constructing non-linear mappings and last but not the least we have auto encoder here we can use auto encoders some kind of encoding uh, functions so that we can learn non-linear dimension reduction functions. It, it uses inverse functions so that we can create original representation from the coding. So we use some functions to code it so that it is encoded. And then when we have to bring back the original representation, then we use the inverse function. So both of the things have to be developed at the same time, encoder and decoder. So these are the main techniques of feature projection and which is mainly used for dimensionality reduction. So let's recap the techniques are autoencoder, kernel PCA, non-negative matrix factorization, and principal component analysis. And that's all on this topic. And if you have any other questions or if you have any feedback, do let us know in comment section. And if you want some new topic to be covered, let us know and we'll be happy to cover that in future topics. All right, thanks and do subscribe to this channel so that you can keep getting the updates on the latest questions and you grow in your career that will be very helpful for you thank you and have a great day